Creating an abstract sculpture. Sculpture, the art of making two or three dimensional representative or abstract forms, especially by carving stone or wood or by casting metal or plaster. Relief is a sculptural technique. To create a sculpture in relief is to give the impression that the sculpted material has been raised above the background plane. What materials can be used for creating sculpture? This portion of the video will be at higher speed to save time. To begin, make some design lines on your foam block. For this project, it's more about feel and fun. Use your hands and sculpting tools to remove the foam. With the start of many art projects, it's important to have a solid design. Use a popsicle stick or sculpting tools to cut a hole. This will help with negative and positive space in your design. Your hands are your best sculpting tool. Use your hands to shape and smooth your project. Adding additional attachments. Use a metal ruler to cut your foam block in half or into pieces. Make your design lines with a popsicle stick. Again, remove the unneeded foam with your hands or other tools. Use your hands to shape the block. Your fingerprints are like sandpaper. That being said, your hands are your best tool. Adding plaster casting wrap. Cut your plaster casting wrap into small squares and rectangle shapes. Dip your plaster casting wrap strips into a tray of water. Take the wet strips and smooth them over your project. Overlap the wet plaster strips. 
This will help into interlocking the pieces together and prevent your project from falling apart. Put your last plaster piece in place. Now let's finish the larger sculpture. Completely cover the green foam with the plaster casting wrap. This will add strength to your sculpture and prevent it from falling apart. Use your thumbs and fingers and water to smooth out the plaster holes. Let the project dry completely overnight. Use an X-Acto knife to cut a hole in the smaller project. This will help in combining both projects. Use your knowledge of color mixing and color theory to paint your project. Let's take a look at a variety of real world sculptures to inspire you. Now let's get to work.